Hi, everyone. Minla Israel here. Thank you so much for being here during my live stream. I greatly appreciate your support. I've pre-recorded this so that we can have some of the behind the scenes done while you listen to me for just just a moment. I again want to thank you so very much for being here during my live stream. If you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can come join us. And if you will also give me a comment in the comment section after this video is done, and then definitely speak up in the chat and say hi. Lastly, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Now, if you're watching this as a replay, generally, if you're on a computer, you can go down below and look for the little gear. You can change that and make the speed faster. If you're on a mobile device, look up in the corner, up in this area for three little dots, and you can change the speed there as well. Those of you that are here live, do definitely speak up in the chat. I greatly appreciate you being here. Well, those that are here live earn a virtual currency. Junkie Joe should be coming up here in just a moment, and you'll be able to check how many bucks that you have. What are bucks? They're junk bucks. It's just a virtual point system that I have created on my account when we're live so that you can redeem those once you get to 2000 for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have. And if you have 2000 and you're ready for a coupon code, type exclamation point award. And my official note takers will take down that information. Now, if you haven't already created an account on my website at lindaisrael.com, Dot com, please do so and then send me a message through the contact form letting me know what your YouTube username is. Why? So I'll have your email address and I can email you your coupon code. Also, if you make a donation throughout this live stream, you can be added to my YouTube donators membership that I have on my website. So again, create an account, say, hey, Linda, I donated and tell me what your username is on YouTube if it's different. That way I can get you added to that. At the end of this stream, I will have journals made and you will have the opportunity to win one of those journals. Throughout the live stream, we'll have some various raffles and we also have in chat games. So be looking out for that in the chat and I'll kind of speak it up when I get to it. For example, if you type exclamation point raffle right now, you can be in a chance to win 200 junk bucks. So you'll be well on your way to getting 2000 junk bucks. Normally, Robin is my official note taker. Sometimes Angelica is my official note taker. It kind of depends on what's going on. These are members and administrators of my Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that group, we'd love to have you come and join us over there. What else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. Hey, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. That way I'll see it. If I don't see it, please don't be offended. The chat sometimes moves fast and I'm usually looking down trying to create things. So please ask again. But if you know the answer that someone else to someone else's question, please go ahead and answer for them. I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can't post your link, but you can say, I have a YouTube channel and tell us a little bit about it. Tell us your channel name, something like that. Tell us what you do. We're going to get started here in just a moment. I'm looking at the time. So roughly five minutes is when uh, I'll get started. So it should be just a few more seconds. So definitely hang out in the chat and we'll get started here in just a moment. think we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't already entered the raffle for 200 junk bucks, thank you for being here today and hanging out with me. 
I greatly appreciate your support and I hope that you are inspired by the things that you see here today. I'm just in the background here doing a couple of things, getting things ready. Let's see. Um, did y'all have a good week? I hope you had a good week. I hope you had a, a great day. I hope that your weekend has been fabulous, that your beginnings of the new week is going on a good start. So thank you for hanging out with me. Hey, Julie, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Julie, Julie. I see we have two Julies today, Julie Blake and Julie Parker. Welcome. Hey, Gigi, thank you so much for your donation. A bunch of orders and prizes went out. More are going out tomorrow. I got our laser. Henry got our laser fixed. I say I. Henry and I are I, okay? Uh, Henry got the laser working, so I have got new stamps that are going out to people, and I've got new stamps for me to play with. So yes, the weekend went so fast. It always does. It's crazy. Um, what else? Um, I've got some new stamps that I'm coming up with. If you're looking for word groupings, four different words sets together that are small, like this size. I'll show some more here in a minute. I am doing a giveaway on my Facebook page. Here's some more little words that I've made up. And I'm asking people to comment under my thread on my Facebook page. It's not pinned because I have a tutorial for the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group pinned, but you should be able to scroll down and see it. Put your four words that you think go together, like bloom, grow, soar, uh, sing, those types of things. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm looking at your list to make up rubber stamps, but I'm going to draw a random winner on April the 20th, and you're going to get either the stamp set that you've suggested or one that you want. I'll message you and say, do you want this one or do you want a different one? Yay! I'm so glad you got it. Yay! I'm so glad. Yay! Um, hey Sally. Hey Tina. Well, hello, hello, hello. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, if y'all would please, if you really enjoy what I do, share my videos. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumb up. When we're done at the end of the video, would you come back and leave a comment of what you thought of today, what your favorite part was? Maybe if you're a winner, we're gonna have some raffles. I am gonna give you a quick Peak. This is the next subscription box. It'll be called Under the Sea. It will feature all kinds of sea life. Yeah, there you go, Julie. Uh, all kinds of sea life. These are images that I picked out. And then in the background, you'll see some of my gel prints. And Norella used one of my stencil patterns to get a pattern in the background. In fact, that's going to be the stencil, one of the stencils in the kit when you order it. And it has a mermaid. And there's some mermaids in the large journal kit as well as the planner, I believe. So that'll be under the sea. That's coming soon. Uh, so I hope you like it. All righty. Uh, thank you, Norma. So, so glad to have you here. All right. So I happened to find in my stash a cover, some ephemera pieces and pages for the Positive Vibes kit. This was done, I think, 2019. It was before... Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. It was before I was making rubber stamps. So today I thought I would kind of revisit that one. I do have some of those subscription, what I call creative kits left. Uh, when it is a subscription box, it's basically a discounted price. Then when it comes off of subscription and it gets put as stock in my store, the price goes up because you get a discount if you are a subscriber to my subscription box. Get it? All right. Uh, so it's in there. So definitely uh, go pull that one out if you have it already. And maybe you can make along with me. You could also get as a digital download. So here's what I've got so far. I have a piece of music paper. All right. I just, my video is going really so slow. Is it going slow for y'all? I don't have any dropped rates. I don't know why my computer is unhappy at the moment, it seems like. Hey, Sherry, so glad to have you here. And Cherry, hey, Janice, hey, Connie. 
Hey Nadine, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so this is some avocado dyed sheet music and it is somewhat fragile when you bend it. So what I did was I had a gel print that was on another piece of book page. I think this is a dictionary and I just kind of strip and glued it down the middle. I don't think I need both sides. One side's enough. So if you've got thin paper or maybe you folded it and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, it ripped, but you still want to use it as a page, then you might and reinforce it with another piece of paper. So on this side over here, I thought I would do something fun. This is from the kit. It says, trust the process. It could be a journal card if you want. I thought that'd be cute up there. And then also in the kit, you get this little writing space. And I thought, well, what if that was on the page like this? So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm just using a Lean's Tacky Glue. I am not adding the little gusset because what I'm putting in here isn't all that wide, but if you had a wide card that you wanted the full space, you've seen me use a little strip of paper to add to my pocket pieces so that I get the full width of it. You're welcome, Nadine. I tried to get everybody out. Hey, Robin, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your donation, Robin. Um, I did send out a bunch of emails for your coupon code. So if you didn't get it, do check your junk mail. I am also working on my next uh, list of Throwback Thursday tutorials. Uh, thank you, Bats Need Friends, Tori. <laughs> thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, you can do so by going over to my website and I will also post the link on Thursday on my Facebook page and on YouTube here. So if you don't get the newsletter, but you want to read it, you can get it via the link. It's through MailChimp and you want to read it this week because I put a coupon code in there and I never give out coupon codes because I feel like my prices are very fair. It's not like I have to discount them because they are, I feel at a very fair price. All right. So I just glued those two down. I did find my punch stamp or punch thingy. So I punched basically an artist trading card that I thought would be cute if we put it in here, in fact, I need to kind of make sure that my pocket isn't too narrow. So I'm just kind of poking it around in there. I probably should have put gussets on there. So let's add a little bit of decoration to this guy. And what do I want to use? Oh, I know what I want to use. Um, one of my customers, she's here, the Mrs. Edmondson. I said, would you mind if I borrowed your stamp? Because I didn't have enough rubber <laughs> to do one for myself because I had orders. <laughs> so I usually what I do is I will fill out a sheet. It's approximately eight and a half by 11 in size. So when you guys order, I have to fill that whole sheet in. So when you put like these two and then maybe one of these, and I'm really tucking stuff in there as much as I could. I didn't have enough room to cut additional stamp for me as a sample. So I said, do you mind if I borrow your stamp? And she says, no, I, that's good. So, okay. All right. So since this is pinks, Let's do Mermaid Lagoon. And here's what I'm going to do. I have the Peacock Mandala. Peacock Mandala. And I have Distress Oxide Mermaid Lagoon. Mermaid Lagoon. So I'm just inking that up really well. And I know that the halfway point is where my little peacock is. And I think I want to go this side. So. I'm just going to stamp it where it goes across. Okay. Ah, there we go. It's a little crooked, but I feel I just like it anyway. I think that looked pretty cute on there. And then when I'm done with distress oxide, I clean my stamp. Um, if it is just freshly stamped and I'm not really trying to get into the, all the crevices too much, Honestly, I just use alcohol. 
I buy it at the dollar store. And if you clean it immediately after you use your ink, it comes pretty clean. So see, Jennifer, it'll have a little um, grunginess to it, but it'll look brand new almost. <laughs> And if there's, hey, if there's a stamp that y'all are wanting that I don't have in my shop, do let me know. Because I am looking for ideas and more to add. All right, so I've got this ribbon. It's white. And since my card is green, or uh, turquoise, I'm going to take this ribbon, just a little strip of it. This is a tip, a trick. If you put the ribbon down on a scrappy piece of paper, take your ink pad, hold it and press it, and then drag your ribbon through it. Look there, it changes the color. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side, like so. I may need a little bit more. Let me see if that's gonna be long enough. That should be long enough. I'll go ahead and trim it, use my fabric scissors on ribbon because it's thin all right and then I will close this back up and I've already lost my pin that I had that was oh there it is well I lost it again I'm gonna stab myself okay I'll just hook it back together this is how I store my ribbon I cut these two by two and a half inch pieces of cardboard and I have one of these iris clamshell they're 12 by 12 and I've made little dividers in them so these just fit standing up on end so I have all my whites together my blues together whatnot it just makes it easier for me to find it all right so we got this guy and it should be dry but I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool so this was a satin ribbon And I just, I wanted to mix it because I also have some eyelash yarn here. I put it in a Ziploc bag because it has a tendency to go everywhere and to be out of control. So I'm going to cut that and put that back in here. And then I had another I found on my desk. These are hard to come by now. I'm, I'm not finding the eyelash trims very much so if you get some of my kits occasionally i have some in there all right so we got that guy i've got a little scrap of wax linen thread so what i'm going to do is find the center here and we're going to pull these through our little tag here so I'll just kind of line this up pull it through and I'll use my finger here and then pull this through my ribbon could have been a little bit longer but I think I can make it work Just kind of making a messy little so it's just kind of like the plumage of the peacock oh yeah go oh, good jennifer you did that too with yours it makes it so much easier because i had probably six bins of ribbon because on the spool it takes so much room and then i started taking it off the uh, spool and it was so much easier to work with all right so this guy's going to go in here i don't think i need to add another sentiment on there i kind of like that peeking out we've got this space down here this is one of the cards that came in the kit so I'll put that down there and we'll flip this over. I was seeing that I got a little glue loose or a little piece of paper. I need some glue. Okay. Now we're going to flip this over here. All right. So I want to show you my idea that I did and I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to show you the concept of it. So I took a piece of book page and I measured it it's approximately nine and a half 
by seven. So that's how much it was. If you have a different size, just do a different size. If you don't have one big enough, glue some together until you get a Franken page big enough. Okay. So I scored three inches from one side and folded that over. And then I went ahead and decided that I wanted this to be four and a half inches wide. So then I scored from this edge four and a half inches after the fold. And now I have this piece that folds over like that. The next thing I did was I cut a piece of paper to fit inside and distress it and set it to the side. I found the center. So this mark right here is the center. So what I've got here, let me get my box open. Of course, now I can't get it. These are teeny tiny little bitty magnets. You see that magnet? And so what I did was, is I lay my magnet down on my book page and then I grab a little scrap of paper. And of course it slid over. A little scrap of paper and I'm going to put some glue on here. Now these magnets aren't super strong they're just okay i have a link if robin wants to share them and i just ordered a larger size to experiment with it's been a long time since i've met, done anything with magnets this one works fine with thin paper if you have super thick paper it'll make it harder all right so that is here on this side so the next thing i did was I'll grab a piece of fabric. So I'm just looking here. I got a piece about here. So I'm gonna fold this in half. And the next thing I'm gonna do is mark my center. So I'm gonna really crease it. Oh, and I told you I bought a new bone folder. All right, so there is my fold. So what I want to do is move this over. Here's the center. So I'm going to put it right about there. Okay. I'm holding my finger there and then I'm going to grab another one of these magnets and I'm going to let it fall where it does. Okay. So it, it matched up. So I'm going to slide it this way just a little bit. So it's in the center. Trim that off. All right, so now what I'm going to do is put some glue around the magnet and we're going to fold this back on itself. Okay. And then I'm going to open up this part and I'll add some more glue. Okay, add some more glue here and then put that down like so. And then what I did was I took one of my label words. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to glue it now because I'll make it later, but I took one of my label words and glued it on top. Well, actually this one will go here, so I'll put it there. So that went on top and then I decorated the rest of this, but watch this will now pop open and we've got this little magnetic, you see that little magnetic closure. Okay. So you got that gist, right? Are you there? Yeah. It's not a bad price for 200 uh, magnets. Yeah. That, she's showing you. There's the link. I got them on Amazon. And if you use my link, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, see you later, Norma. Have a good day. Um, it comes in a little case and these are tea tiny and I've ordered a, a larger size because I think a larger size will work with cardstock better. All right. So that's the gist of it. Okay. Here's what I made. So here's the piece here. I decorated this, stamped over here, added this element there. This is the other piece of paper, which covers up the back side. So you don't see where the magnet is on the other side. You can't even tell hardly. You can barely feel it right there, that it's there. Uh, then I use from the Positive Vibe stencil with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is my new funk groovy flowers that I stamped the little stars. Today is full of possibilities as another stamp set in my shop. So this piece I thought would look really cute 
on this page as a belly band. So I'm going to glue it at the top and the bottom onto my page. Oh, Heather, hello. Hey, Connie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. And we'll put this right here in the middle. I think it's crooked. So, all right. So then this flips open, this flips open that way. So and then it closes up. So we have a nice little thing. So I'm gonna let that dry before I put my card that's going to go behind. So let's flip this to the inside. I have fabric everywhere. Go up here. So on this side, I happen to have a piece of paper that was a book page that I cleaned my brayer off on. And so it alters that, but it also gives you some writing space. And I like the colors that it came up with. Then I found some of the uh, other papers that I've done. And here's one that I folded up the edge and I thought it would be a pretty little pocket to put on the page. And then I have another one that I thought would be pretty to put as a pocket on the page, but we need to do some decorating to these pieces. Look at my time. All right, so I've got a new uh, vines, vine with curls, vine with curl, I think it is. So I wanna stamp it where it's around the edge. I'm gonna glue this top, please. Okay. So we'll just stamp it. I just, I love this little stamp and I'm glad that I finally have the ability to make it because it was an image that Norella used in the positive vibes kit. But at the time I didn't have the knowledge of how to make rubber stamps. Okay. I like that. All right. So I'll glue that down and I could glue it as a tech spot. I think I will. I'll just kind of get a little glue at the bottom. So if you had a little something you wanted to tuck behind there, you could. Okay, I like that. And then let's do this piece, but let's do it with a different stamp. So I have the henna mandala. So I'm gonna stamp it. I didn't get enough ink on it, but that's okay. I'm just wanting it for a background. And I'm also stamping on top of painted paper. So sometimes it resists the ink a little bit. Okay, so I got that piece. And then this piece is going to go on top of it. I like that. And again, I'll glue this kind of as a tuck spot. In case there's a little something that you want to stick in there. Okay, I like that. And I've got this little piece, so let's stamp on it. What stamp should I use this time? Oh, I haven't used this one in a while. This one's called um, Corner Swirl. That's what this one is. All right, I think what I want to do is fold this in half and I want to come from the corner out like that and get enough ink on it. Come on, stamp. There we go. That's a lot better. All right, just adding a little decoration to the page. All right, slide this back over. And this page I want to put up here at the top in the middle. So I'm going to glue it down, which will help give this page a little bit more stability down the center. Okay, so I'll kind of line this up there. Oh, thank you, Nadine. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Tori, Robin, Margie, and Gigi for your donations today. I greatly appreciate it. Okay. And then these are going to go on top. So I'll put that one 
Oh, I think we'll put it kind of in the center. So you still see the music around the outside edge. It'll be a tall, skinny pocket. And it's thin because we're using book paper. So it won't add too much bulk. Now the piece on top is cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker. Okay. Let that dry for a moment. And then we'll glue. Actually, what I want to do is add a little piece of paper. I have one here. I just feel that it makes it just a little bit stronger if you can add a piece of paper to the back side. And you won't have to worry about the top of your pocket tearing. Okay, so I just add that on there. Now I'm going to glue this across the bottom and up the other side. Here we go. All right, and then we kind of line this up. Okay. I need to fold this page. I like it. All right, so then we need something to go in the pockets we just made. So I cut a couple of pieces of some cardstock here. I should have put gussets on this one, but I'm hoping that if I work it a couple of times. Let's decorate these guys. These guys. I happen to have a book page and a gel print. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Maybe something like that. Just a little decorative piece. So let's add some distress inks to those. Oh, you used that pretty blue dawn today. <laughs> so I just got a piece of scrap that was left on my desk and this is from a gel print and by the way if you don't have a gel plate and you don't have a gel press but you like the way the gel prints look that I use you can get a lot of them as digital downloads if you make a donation here on my channel then you can then go over to my website at lindaisrael.com and create a user ID then use the contact me form and say hey Linda I made a donation on YouTube and then what I do is I add you to the YouTube donator membership and as a member you get several of my gel prints as a digital download for free you also get a discount on items in my shop and the day that you donate during the live stream you get a chance to win the journal that I am giving away during the live so it's a benefit to, to donate just even if it's a couple of dollars all right so this is going to go on here like that And I'm trying to decide what other decoration I want to put on there. I think we could get away with, I saw it just a moment ago. I got the henna mandala. I was going to use the little uh, checkoff list, but I changed my mind. All right, let's get out a purple. Yeah, let's do purple. Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer, for your donation. All right, so I'm going to ink this up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think right about here. I can't drive 55. And then this would go over the top of it. What do you think? All right, let's glue this down. Put that right there. And then we'll put this on top. 
All right, it's 4.15. I'm trying to watch my time, and I like it. All right, we'll put, uh, maybe we'll put a word on here in a moment, but I want to go ahead and do the same thing. But let's do it on the opposite side. So, ink up the henna. What is this? Henna rose. Henna rose. So we'll stamp that one. And then I'll clean my stamp off. Put my stamp away. So I can find it another day. Uh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Janice, I mailed your stamp. I'm sorry. I'm only human. I packaged up Janice's order and some prizes that she won. And I was doing really good. I got it all done. I put it in the mail and I sent it to her. And she sent me a message. You forgot a stamp. And I was like, really? So then I looked on my desk and I was like, oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I like that. All righty. And let's put the ink away and let's see uh ah oh, there goes sherry thank you so much for your donation how about believe in yourself that's a positive vibe to me believe in yourself and let's see if we can find do i have little scraps here that we can use i don't know if that one's big enough we're going to try it. If it's not, it's a scrap of paper. It's no big deal. Oh, I think that'll work. So what if we put that on here? But we'll need something to go behind it. And how about... Um, hey, keep going. This is a new stamp set that I just made. Hey, keep going. And we'll stamp that. Okay, put that over here. Oh yeah, I was going to put this guy on here. I think like that. It was laying here on my desk, so it gets used. All right, so I think we need to add some distress inks and then possibly add maybe a piece of fabric. To that wheel of fortune <laughs> oh dear sometimes when I do a, a little piece of paper like this it takes a little effort to hang on to it but we got it what's everybody working on I have uh, decided that I'm going to start selling some of my stamps that I haven't used in years and years and years. So I've pulled a bunch of stamps. So now what I'm going to do is take photographs of them and start listing them as um, previously loved stamps. Maybe that's what I should call it. They'll be used stamps, but <laughs> I may title it previously loved. <laughs> <laughs> no longer loved. It's ready for a new love in its life. I wonder if that would work. Is that fabric too much? I don't know. I think that looks kind of pretty. Like that. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it! Oh, you've been playing with your gl gl glimmer mist, working on not losing your mind? Well, that's not hard to do. That is, it's not hard to lose your mind when you've already lost it. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm kidding. All right, we'll put that right there. And then we'll do... You need to go back where you belong. Back where you belong. And then let's do this one. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. I like it. So we're going to glue this down. I like it. I hope you like it. Let's 
So I'm just adding a little bit of glue on here. I like it. You like it? <laughs> Why did, uh, yay, Giovanna. I didn't say, oh, nurse's journal. Oh, a nurse's journal. Perfect, Nadine. Well, congratulations on retiring, whether it have been recent or years ago. That is awesome. And what a great way to get a journal put together that you could document your nurse's journey. Hey, did you ever see uh, Call the Midwife? I think it was a BBC production. If you have Netflix, or if you have someone in the family that has Netflix, I believe the whole series is over there, so you can watch it if you haven't seen it. It's a good, I think it's a good, wholesome show. You know, it doesn't have a lot of vulgarity and inappropriate information. Gel printing. Ah, cool, Julie. Yay! Thank you so much, uh, Tori. You can, I said it with love, of course. <laughs> so we think you like that. So then these can go in here. Don't want it to flip up. Don't flip up. And I think I'll just leave it to where it kind of sticks out. All right. So there's a journal page made and there's a text spot here that something could be put in if you want. And then this piece flips out like that. And then I have from the the uh, subscription box this time she did a crossword puzzle instead of a word search and everybody loved these word searches and crossword puzzles so we started putting them on every kit and then there's the side a little bit of variety okay all right put that to the side let me get my next one Okay. I bought these um, baskets at the Dollar Tree, and the size of the basket fits my cubby behind me. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I bought, I only bought four, three, three. I didn't have very many, so I bought three of them because I thought they would come in handy. And they were a dollar twenty-five. I mean, come on, I can afford that today. All right, the next one, I've kind of done some prep work ahead of time so that it wouldn't take near as long, I hope, <laughs> to put it together. All right, kind of cleaning up just a little bit so I can find all my thingies. I can go in there. All right, so here's what I have. I'm trying to get all my thingies. So what I kind of do is I kind of map out what I want to do. For example, I printed, because I have the ability because I own the stamp, I printed the peacock on top of one of my gel prints. So it got that cool background. And then this was where I had cleaned off my brayer and I started to make a little envelope pocket um, bag I guess you can see so what I want to do is close this up so it'll be drying so I'll put a little glue across here and then we'll close that we're going to put this peacock mandala on top of it I'm trying to decide do I want to go on this side or this side I think I want on this side and let's add some embellishment to the back of this in the background. Since I already have the vine with curl, vine with curls out, we'll just kind of stamp it around the edge. So it kind of gives us a little patterning and doesn't make that peacock look like it's all on its own. See how that fills it in? Like it? All right, so now I'm going to glue this piece down. I'm going to leave the top kind of open in case there's something that you, 
the person who gets this journal wants to just kind of tuck behind there. All right, so I've got one of my little labels here. And what do I have? I have spring, summer, fall, winter, grow, uh, sing, bloom, soar, joy, beauty, create, happy. Let's do, um, let's do beauty because, you know, peacock, they're beautiful, right? So this is my little label words. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Y'all get in on the raffle. Put that right here. There we go. Put that back. And maybe right there. All right, and then I have, this is one of my gel prints that I scanned in and then I changed the hue on my computer. These are now a digital download. Again, if you make a donation, I believe I have this one set that you get it for free. And I thought it would just be pretty to put it in the middle of the page as opposed to top or bottom. I'm pretty confident. Here it is. Here's my card that's going to go inside. So I'm just kind of gauging. Yeah, I think in the center would work. And I will go ahead. You can glue this whole thing down if you want. I'll go ahead just, just in case a secondary tuck is wanted to put in here. Okay. Let's line that up. Okay. All right. Y'all enter the raffle. Beauty. Or beauty. What did you say, Ju Julie? I gave you a choice, but then I didn't give you a chance. Bloom. <laughs> you like that? All right. So we still need to do something to this thing. I think we should do some fabric. And since I got this on top, we're going to go to the sewing machine in a moment. We're going to do the raffle. But before we do the raffle, I'm going to glue down a little bit of fabric on this little piece of cardstock. I pulled, I have a little bins of papers that I used to a lot, not so much anymore because now I try to use it all without having any scraps. Um, but I used to make a lot of greeting cards. And when I did, I would have scraps left over. So I had a little bin full of purple scraps. And that's what this was. I'll show you my, my little pocket that I would put all the scraps that were purple inside. And then I have one that's blues, different shades of blue. And of course I have one for red and pink and green and whatnot. All right, so let's do the raffle. Let's see, we'll do this. Okay. Get on the junk box. <laughs> hey, Tanya, how are you? Oh, thank you, Tori. <laughs> pokety, pokety, pudgety, pudgety. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all get in on the raffle. I'll give you one more second. I'm going to clean my hands off just a little bit. Sometimes you handling that ink and whatnot. Okay. All right, we ready? Get in on it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're good. All righty, let's go. Give away. Pick a winner. And the winner is... Da, 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 da. Tanya, how funny. <laughs> Tanya, you won 200 junk bucks. Let's reset that. Yes. And let's do um set of gel prints open giveaway so i went a couple of years ago to creativation and i did a workshop on gel printing and i happened to find all my gel prints 
and I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. So I thought maybe y'all would like to have some of these gel prints. So I'm going to give away two sets. Here's one, and then here is another. They're just random papers. You could cut them up. You could turn them into little uh, envelopes or pockets or collage around it and use the whole piece, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to put that up here out of the way. All right, so let's go over to the sewing machine. Y'all enter the raffle. You're welcome. Yay! So get you another coupon code, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go here to the sewing machine. I have a regular sewing machine set on zigzag stitch. I'm using brand new thread. Well, new within the last 10 years anyway. Um, if you are trying to use really old thread, maybe your grandma's stash or maybe you're the grandma and you just had it for 20 years and it starts breaking a lot when you're sewing, the thread's too old. Save it for adding for texture, but not for sewing. All right, so I'm just going to stitch across here. I recommend that you wait for the glue to dry before you stitch on top of it. But I stitch through glue all the time. Most of the time it's dry. If you don't wait, it can gum up your needle and it could rip the paper. So I'm just gonna take my time and go across here. If you don't have a sewing machine, well then just make sure that you use a generous amount of glue and then it will stay on your fabric or piece of paper. All right, let's go back over here. Oh, wrong buttons. Wrong buttons, Linda. <laughs> okay, and this guy, I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. I just think it's kind of pretty to stick out there. Over here, I kind of paperclip stuff when I think I know what I want to do. I was trying to decide if I put this on here, do I want it to flip up? Because this will be on top. Do I want it to flip up? I think so. So what I'm going to do is I didn't add a strip of paper here. So I'm looking. I've got a book page. So I'm going to cut it. Move over out of the way. So this is how wide? This is all oh, five. No, four and three quarters wide. Maybe a little bit less than four and three quarters, but we'll do that. And I don't need that wide of a strip, so I'm going to trim it down to be less than an inch, just because I don't need a whole lot. I just want something, actually an inch, Linda, an inch. I was looking at it wrong. All right, so we got this piece. And I'll go ahead and I didn't add some distress inks to the background here. Okay. Oh, and I should distress this a little bit so it doesn't look so like a piece of book page by itself. Hey, Rhonda, your box went out. All your stuff. I had to get a bigger box. <laughs> oh, thank you for your patience. I'm waiting on your order. All right, so this is going to go up here. So I'll put a little glue. And then what I like to do is take my paper and kind of slide from the top down. And kind of wiggle it back and forth so it's getting good adhesive adhesion. Okay. All right, so this is going to go on here. And I've got another layer that's going to go on top, but let's decorate this one a little bit. And this is going to be my go-to stamp. This is the vines, vine with curls. So I'm going to stamp it on here. I like this stamp. Go like that. And then let's come from the top down. I need to ink it better. Look, and it just kind of made a little frame. I like it. I like it like that. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! Well, thank you. I sent you some extra 
I don't know what it was, but I sent you something extra. <laughs> and by the way, all of you, if you ever want to give me a, a help and you purchase one of my products, take a beauty shot, a really good photo where either you had perfect lighting or you went outside and send me the photo of what you made and I will showcase it under that product on my website. I need to do it with um, this journal card that Rhonda made using the good old days pickup truck. I love this truck. I don't remember if I ever put it up there. I have it set out so I would see it. But that was by Rhonda Bennett. Okay, so this piece is going to go on my page like that. So I will go ahead and glue it into place. I didn't decorate the back side of this other than just some distress inks around the edges. So this will flip up like that. Okay. And then I have this piece, which is another piece of paper that I've added a little flap, but I've also made a pocket out of the journal card that comes in the kit. And then these are just a piece of cardstock journal card that I had. I didn't stamp on it. I thought, well, it's got that fabric and what my thought was was I'm going to put that piece on here so we'll glue this down do this little tab and then we're going to center it with the pink now we've got a little interactive piece here Hey, Morgan, you are late, young lady. Oh, my goodness, did you forget? You're almost an hour late. <laughs> Tanya, you're really close. You'll need another 200 junk bucks. So now this piece flips that way, and then it flips this way. And I decided just to leave this like it is so you can see the paper in the background. You could always paste something else in there, write another little paper, uh, another write on another little paper, like a little tear-off notepad. You could put that in there if you wanted, but I just didn't want to cover up that butterfly. All right, so we've got that started. I've got another piece. But wait! There is more. What? There's more, Linda? Yes, there's more. So this piece, I thought, let me get my, all my thingies ready. All right, so this piece is going to go there. Ah, this is going to go on the other side. Okay. So I have a music page that measures about 11 and a half inches a little bit less so i scored uh almost three quarters of an inch and fold that over and this piece is going to be attached on my journal page here and you want to make sure that this piece of paper is shorter then your journal page so let me show you how it is shorter see here we got a little bit of a gap because if it's too long it will bunch up in your binding okay so we got that portion and i just realized i did all that earlier and i forgot to put some distress ink around the edges okay do it this way. Ah, oh, thank you, Morgan, for your donation. Thank you for being here today. All right, I'm just adding some distress inks. So I've got a very interactive page here. So this page is going to come on here and it's going to flip out. So I went ahead and I got a couple of book. Uh, tear off notepad sheets so I'm gonna lay these in my spray box 
and let's get a stencil. I have added a bunch of new stencils to my shop. Oh, somebody wanted me to use this last week. I have the music note stencil. I had not used it. Still, still has a hanging chad. When you get a stencil, it may have a hanging chad. I didn't take the time to get all the pieces out. Just poke it out and deal with it. <laughs> Don't get hung up on it. All right, here's another. I see a couple more little poke spots I need to poke out. I saw another one here. Especially with these little bitty ones. This is a very delicate stencil. So it's perfect for using with this technique of spraying with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist or gel printing. But if you're doing, man, I've got a bunch of hanging. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just not going to mess with it anymore. <laughs> it's a gel printing works great. All right. What color? Let's do, a, I got wild purple from the punked out steam or what am i saying the um wild and free set so i'm going to spritz that a few times and then i've got from the dancing dragonflies color i didn't shake it it's got a few colors there i'm going to grab a paper if i've got any left i'm out of copy paper. I need to order some more. I only have like 20 sheets left it looks like. Alright. And I sometimes spray the back but today I'm not going to. So I didn't spray it very darkly. Thank you Ruby Lily for your donation. But it's got a little bit of a pattern on there. I'll save it. Save it for another day. So, look at there. We got music notes on music. How's that? So, we need to distress the edges. Yep, yep. Distress the edges. So, I like to stack them together because paper can be thin. And we'll add that to here. Okay, I've got that swing. Makes a little bit of difference, I think, to add that distress ink. Someone was asking me, well, can, isn't there an alternative to distress ink? I said, honestly, I like it because it's inexpensive. It has its own little container. It's easy to work with. And I don't have to worry about staining my fingers with, like, shoe polish. <laughs> All right, so I like that. I'm going to fold this back. All right, so I've got these two pieces that will go on here when I put those down. Oh, thank you, Tanya, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, let's see. Let's get out some of the, maybe the shabby stitches or stitches set. Let's do the stitches set. And I think I like, oh, I like this one. It has little curlies in it. Little curlies. All right. Rubber stamp. A scrap of paper. So this is from the stitches set. So we're going to stamp across here, flip it, stamp here, and then I will start kind of not quite all the way to the end. And then alternate it so it's not meeting at the same side or same height. So that framed that out. Let's do that again. It's a great way to add patterns and colors to paper without adding a lot of bulk 
to your journal pages is to use stencils and tattered angels and then use rubber stamps to add just a little bit to your pages. All right, put that back over here. Put this back over here. See, I'm trying to be really good and put everything back where it belongs. I think we need to do the word journal and let's do this one. So, do I want to stamp it directly? I think so. Let's just stamp it directly. Directly. All right, so I'm going to find the center here and stamp it. Oh, yeah, that looks good. So now you have your own personalized stationery. You love the shabby stitches? Yeah, it is. It's so valuable because you can do so much with that shabby stitches and the stitches set. And they blend well together, too, I think. All right. So we got those. Put this back over here. So what I want to do is close that. And then we're going to glue this in the center. So we still see the sheet music behind. We've patterned our notebook paper. You could just glue this where it's only attached at the top. But it's such thin paper that it's really not a two-sided paper. You could use the No Bleed um, ink from Sharpie. Just using my back of my block to smooth that out. So there's this side. Flip this over. It's going to go over here. Decorate it up. Okay, find that piece in the middle. So this is also what I'm doing here, decorating this page the way I am. If you have a journal that's already put together, you can attach a page in the way that I'm going to be showing you in just a moment. Okay, so that's going to go like that. This is going to go like that. So on this side, I went ahead and I used that peacock stamp. And this was another page that I had cleaned off my brayer. And I just liked the way it came together. And I took a book page and just went around the edges with some Distress Oxide. Made it just slightly larger than this piece because it was such fragile paper. And then sewed it together. My Thoughts Linger Here is a new rubber stamp in my shop. Yeah, I know. I've got a new bone folder. It's laying here. <laughs> I use what's on my desk. <laughs> and this one's a real bone folder. It's not that plasticky one. I was going to, in a pinch, pick up one at um, Hobby Lobby. They had them on sale. But when I picked it up and it bent in my hand, I was like, no, not doing that. Okay, I think I'm going to put that right here where it's kind of at the bottom of the page. Okay, and then we'll put some glue on here. Okay, and then just put that right about there. So again, we're seeing the music. I was going to go taller up, but I think right there is good. And then I had on my desk some paper that was already cut. And then I had another page where I had cleaned off my brayer and then this was just some scrapbook paper. This is an element from the kit and I just stitched it together to create some writing space that goes, all right, now why aren't you cooperating? Okay. I need to turn my ceiling fan on. It got warm in here. Okay. And then when we flip this over, we need something on this side. So this is what I did. Someone sent me 
some scrapbook paper that I guess they had trimmed down and this was the piece that was left over and they folded it to fit in the envelope and it had, where is it? You can't even see it now. There's a hole where it used to hang on a peg. And so to cover that up, I just glued a piece of fabric down, but I thought this would look kind of cute on the page as a pocket. So you could flip this up and you would have a pocket behind here. So I'm just gluing this. I think it's roughly four inches. I'll measure it just in case y'all wanted to know how big it was. Or maybe you have some scrapbook paper in your stash so you can cut it yourself. So it was four and a quarter inches. And again, I believe it was 12 by 12. Yeah, it was 12 by 12. Okay, so I did that. And then I have a couple of these embellishments. So I'm trying to see, maybe we'll put these in here. I think I like that. I think it needs something else though, right behind it. You know what? I'm going to do this. I haven't used, I just put these stamps or um, stencils in my shop. Let me see. Oh, I like this one. Okay. So you get a frame, you get the inner piece, and then you get cats that go with it. And I think what I want is, let's do the Mermaid Lagoon. All right, so I'm going to lay that there. I'm thinking about making this a stamp set too. I think that kind of gives it a different look. Oh, and I have this one with the diamond. Okay, let's put the diamond down on top of it. Maybe in the pink. Pink, I need the pink. Where's the pink? Is that the pink? There's the pink. All right, so let's put that one right there. I like it. And then we'll put this right here. Ah, but wait, one more thing. Why not? I know I saw it. Where is it? Of course now, ah, I have the sheet music stamp. I know we're doing music on music, so I'm just going to stamp it a couple of times in the background. And then we'll put that right here. How's that? We'll make this a little tuck spot. In case you want to pull a little journal card or a ticket or something in it. I like it. All right, let's do the same kind of thing over here. So we're going to go this way. Mermaid Lagoon. So this is my new um, mid-century modern cats and shapes. mid-century modern cats and shapes. I can't believe I don't have my, ah, here it is, that one. Put this back. All right, then we'll do the diamond. Like that. You like it? Y'all said last week you didn't like mid-century modern, but too bad. Okay, so then this guy's going to go here, but we want the music again. I like it. I like it like that. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. There we go. And we'll glue that down. So we're adding texture and color, but not adding too much depth or whatnot. 
You love the cats on the stencil? Cool. Okay, so over here, um, we need, I need some decoration, and I think I'm out. Let's look to see if I had some in my bin. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. So this is another one of the cards that comes in the kit. And I think I'll glue this down as a side pocket. This is going to be one interactive page, let me tell you. So it'll go right here. And I've got some paper here. Okay. So that would go in here. Okay. Let's add some distress inks to that guy. And we'll make up a little card to go in here. This one's really thick. You don't mind, but no cats. I'm, you're so allergic. Aw. Well, this is a way you can have a cat without uh, actually having a cat. Because <laughs> I'm allergic to cats, too. And I didn't know I was allergic to cats. And we had a cat for 20 years. <laughs> she used to sleep on my head. And I was always... Uh, you know, wondering why my allergies were going crazy. You love interactive pages? All right, so this one will go right here. But I think what I want to do is put a little piece of fabric on there. I don't want to keep using the same piece of fabric, so I'm looking. There's my little bin of Ziploc baggie of fabrics. Oh, here's this one. I haven't used this in a while. What else have we got? It's a smaller piece. All right, let's let's do the rough. We're gonna to go to the sewing machine again, and we're gonna stitch this fabric on here. Okay. Okay. Sometimes when I get to the end, I don't have enough glue, so I just have to add a little bit more to help get that wrinkled, scrunchy, ruffle look. Okay, that back in here. Oh, and I will have a tutorial come out at midnight tonight that y'all will want to see. Here's a journal card that I made. This is scrapbook paper, or no, text weight paper in the background, a book page, and then one of my mixed media journal cards that Norella made up for me. This is a photo of a flower from my garden, and then in the background are some gel prints. And that's going to go behind here like that. And then this one's going to go in here. So what I want to do right now is stitch across there. Bah! Sewing lamb! Well, my fabric came undone, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, Giovanno made the little sewing lamb. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. All right. We'll put that there. So now we've got all of these pages decorated. We're ready to do the next step, which is to adhere it to this page. So what I want to do is line it all up. Make sure I've got it lined up there. Yep. So I'm going to glue this tab to the inside of my page because I'm going to back it with another page. OK. 
okay. So I'm just lining it up. I'm gonna flip this over this way. This page is fluffy, let me tell you. All right, so I got that on there. So now when we come to it, this has all this flippy outy <laughs> going for it. And then when we go to this side of the page, we have all this flippy flappy goodness going on. All right, so this is gonna go over here. And this was where I took a bunch of my gel prints. Some of them are printed and some of them are real gel prints. And I adhered them to a book page that was rather thin. So this isn't super thick. And then from the kit, I used this little peacock element and I had a scrap of blue paper. So I thought it'd be pretty just to put it as a little tuck spot. So I'm just gonna go right down this edge kind of right to the stitching here. Add a little bit of glue there. Rhonda, thank you for the glue. I'm always using my Aline's Tacky Glue and she sent me a care package a month or so now ago and she sent me a big bottle and a little bottle of, I think you did, I think you sent me both, a big and a little bottle and paint. All right, so that's gonna go there. This is gonna go in it, but I think we need to decorate it with something. So we'll set that there for a moment. We'll contemplate that. You love the flippy outie? So this piece is going to go over here as a pocket. And I think I'll come up on the page. I don't think it has to be right at the bottom. And I'm gonna glue down the side and then back up the other side. And that should be wide enough. So kind of using that as a guide. So while we're thinking about what to put on the card, I need to attach these guys together. So here's what I'm gonna do, because this is gonna drive me crazy flipping flopping around. This piece and this piece need to go together. I will put a little bit of glue across here and a little bit across here. And then we're gonna go back to the sewing machine and I'm gonna stitch these together. So I'm just gonna line this up. I made this so that it's also a big pocket page in the middle. My page may be smaller than I thought, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is go to my sewing machine. I'll take this one out for a moment. And we're going to stitch right across here and across here. Just making sure my page is nice and smooth, okay? All right, so we're going to, I'm not going to switch the sewing lamb because it's having an issue on my computer, I can see. So I'm just going to stitch it real fast. Y'all talk amongst yourself. I think next Monday it's going to be an eclectic journal. And the reason being is I am trying to go through some of my stuff. I have a huge box where I have collected random bits from around my room left over from projects that I didn't have a place to put them. So I have decided that I'm just going to start pulling items out of that box and making journal pages. And next Monday, that's what I'll do. I'll just grab an element uh, out of this box and we'll make a journal page or two and then make a journal. All right, so I want this to fold like that. I don't need this anymore. I could have glued it all the way shut and I may still because it sure bulks out, doesn't it? I think I'm going to glue it shut. I wasn't going to, but now I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I changed my mind. I can do that. It's my prerogative. Okay. So that's going to be this side. So this guy's going to go right here. 
No, that's not where he goes. This is where he goes. He goes in here. And get my little envelope open. Okay. And this flippy floppies. So I'm thinking maybe we need a little paper clip. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if that's what I want to do. Because when you're flipping the page, kind of. I don't know. We, when we put the journal together, if we decide we don't like it. All right, this guy's going to go here. Already got something there. So we need to decorate this page. Let me get these paper clips out of the way. Okay, so. Oh, I know what I'll use. If I can find it. I just had it out. Do, 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 do. There it is. I have a new cone flower stamp. And I think it'll fit on here. Oh, I don't want that paper. Let's get this one. What time is it? We got five o'clock? Okay. So I've got this cone flower stamp. ink it up and let's stamp it to where it's kind of coming off the page but on the corner here and then we'll put that right there how's that and then this will flip out and this flips up and then we have a pocket here and this flips over Yay! I like it. You like it? All right. Coneflower. Paint t shirt. Today is your lucky day. Jennifer, you won 80 junk bucks. Woo woo. All right. You stay in there. Let's go there. I need to count how many pages I have again. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Am I missing some? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, eight. All right. So, I have these two papers left. One is some coffee dye paper, and the other is where I had mopped up the positive vibes on one side. So, let's do some stenciling. Put my cone flower away. Oh, I like this one. So let's do this one. This is my mid century modern connected blocks stencil. So I'll get that out. Nope, oh, I want to do it this way. So I'm going to lay that in here. Apparently I got a hanging chad. Okay, we got rid of the hanging chad. All right, so this time let's do, we have purple, and we've got the wild and free color, so they're kind of a tealy color. I think we need some pink. Oh, I've got a pink. So this is the wild pink. So I'm going to spritz a little bit of the pink. And a little bit of the wild and free. And then let's do a little bit of the purple. And let's mop it up. So I had that music from earlier. So I'm just going to put this on the back side. Okay, so there it is, mopping it up. Looks like big plus signs, big fat plus signs. And there it is, spraying it through the stencil. And then here's the other side of our page. 
Okay. Let's add, um, I got the li tiny library card stamp. That makes you, makes you think of your childhood home. <laughs> Oh, little houses on a block street. Yeah, it could look like little houses. I could see that, maybe. <laughs> How about some harvest gold, Jennifer says. Nope, not going to do it. <laughs> All right, so what do we want to put? Oh, yeah, I've got uh, the groovy stamps. That goes over here. Let's get... Oh, we've got... Mermaid Lagoon, and then we've got a different shade of purple and a shade of pink. So, I'm going to get one of the little flowers here, and we'll do Seedless Preserves. I need to get re-inkers. My ink pads are getting kind of dry. So, I'm just kind of stamping it a couple of times. All right. Put that back. I have been doing some rearranging in my room. Uh, over here to the side, on this side, I had some, or I still have some drawers. And in these drawers were some mixed media tools, but I wasn't using them. So I've redone one of the drawers and I put my charms over there so I could get to them a little better. All right, so we're just kind of doing it in threes. Clean my stamp off. Do, 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 do. Okay. And then I think I want, let's do this stamp in the pink. There's a set of six stamps. I just thought it was kind of fun. I didn't do them in the same order, but I think you get the gist of just playing around, making your own pattern paper. I may do this one. It's the little uh, stars, I guess you could say. What color? What color? What color? What color? What color? Oh, that's this blue. So I got blueprint sketch. And this one I have to be careful because there's so many edges to not rock the stamp. I like it. Okay. What do you think? If you come to that page, you've got all those pretty colors on there. I like that. So let's see what we've got sentiment wise. How about, um, oh, I didn't get it. Darn it. Oh, here it is. Be brave. Be fearless. That's what it was. Be fearless. So let's find a little scrap of paper. Maybe out of here. This is scrapbook paper. Why don't we use that? So I'm just going to stamp it over here. And then I'll use my scissors and just kind of Make it look like a little cloud. So we can put that in the middle. Okay. I like it. And I still have this piece, so let's get a different stamp. I wonder if this is big enough. Yeah. We got magical being creative and how I use my block. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Is it time already? 
Oh my goodness, y'all are so demanding. <laughs> magical. Magical. A jack, uh, adjective. Beautiful or delightful in such a way as to seem removed from everyday life. So again, I'm just going to kind of give it a wavy little. So this is a perfect way if you can't stamp straight on a piece of paper. Well, just cut it out funky and you won't notice. All right, so I'm going to cut off these little pieces because I don't need them. And I'll save that piece in my bin since it's already here. All right, y'all into the raffle. We're going to give away two sets of gel prints that I did a long time ago at a workshop. I probably printed in the three hour session, I don't know, a hundred <laughs> gel prints in that class. <laughs> so I'm trying to pass some along. Okay, I like that. All right, so I'll glue this down. And then we'll do the other side. I like it. You like the little flowers stamped in the background in the different colors? I'm going to come over just a little bit. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. All right, then we'll do something with this side. I think I need to add some distress inks to the edges. Sometimes you just need to add it. This is some of that green linen paper that I have in my stash and have had for a long time. Oh, okay, Morgan. So Morgan's got to leave early. The flowers are groovy, man. <laughs> All righty, let's pick the winner of the gel prints. I'll pick two winners. So we'll write my pen out. Gel print. Okay. Let's pick the winner. And the first winner is da 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 Tanya. So I'm writing your name on here because I have a tendency to not get my notes written <laughs> right away. All right, let's pick another winner. Julie! Soon we'll be able to ship, I hope. Put that right there. Okay. Got that. And here we go. Okay, I'm trying to get all my little things. Okay, this one goes there. All right. So the next raffle, I have some charms. Yay! So these are um, journal flags and slash charms. Yeah, that's what they'll be. So th this can be attached to the edge of a book page or on a tag off your spine. This one's a little bit bigger, so you probably want to do it off of a spine. And these are little elements that I made. A tutorial on how to make this one is coming tomorrow or at midnight tonight. So that will be our next raffle. Set that up here out of the way. All right, let's decorate this guy. All right, so we added some distress inks on here. I've got a shadow going on and we need to decorate. Oh, I've got these butterflies. Beverly came and sat at a workshop with me and I had a bunch of butterflies that needed to be fussy cut out and she fussy cut some. Got some different sizes of butterflies. 
Maybe a, ooh, let's do a smaller one in a different color. Maybe we'll put two together on this side and one on the other. I like it. Uh, these are Beeline Designs butterflies. I print a whole bunch of them or stamped a whole bunch of them and then I colored them. Let me put some distress ink on this first and then I'll trim it. And I colored a bunch of them after I stamped them and then I scanned them into my computer because I had used basically all one color on each butterfly I was able then to go into my editing software my photo editing software and change the hue of the butterflies and so now I can print butterflies in any color I want pretty much <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to come in here and trim. All right, so that one's ready. Oh, I didn't do these. I'm trying to do different things on the pages so that it's not all exactly the same thing on every single page because this side's different. All right, so we've got those. How about... Um, we need the phrase, don't forget to fly. Don't forget to fly. Let me find a little scrap of book page. No, well, that one's not big enough. I try to save them. This one might be. This one's big enough. It's probably bigger than I need, but that's okay. We'll stamp it in the middle and it'll be a nice little frame. Don't forget to fly. And then we have with brave wings, she flies. So I'm just going to stamp it on the other end. Try to get my paper where I can see it. You love coloring them in. They're fun to color in. But sometimes I want, you know, a whole bunch of them and not have to fuss with them. So I just did a whole batch. Kind of think that'll be good. Okay. Get my distressing ink out. Okay. Laura got 70 junk bucks. Good job. <laughs> All righty. I got this little tiny library card out earlier. I don't know. Maybe if I did something. Maybe the big one needs to go with it. And maybe I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. No, I'm just, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit that right now. Doesn't fit that right now. I got a little scrap of paper though. We'll add some distress inks. And maybe what we'll do is we need a piece of fabric. Maybe in a blue. And I think what I want to do is go to the sewing machine. I'm not going to stitch it to this page, but I'm going to stitch these together. So on the back side, to make it a little bit easier to stitch, I'm looking for a piece of paper that's big enough. This one will work. Because sometimes if you're stitching just on fabric and there's not really two layers of fabric, your fabric can kind of bunch up in your sewing machine. So, to help give it a little bit of body, I'm just going to put a little piece of paper on the back. And I want this little piece of book page here. Ah, and then I've got... I've been saving these, so I've been trying to use them up. This is all where I tear the, uh, tear the fabric and it comes off with little pieces. So I think... Oh, maybe this little purpley... 
So I just saved all of these. And so I'm just going to grab a little piece. And that's also my old thread that has a tendency to break. So I didn't use it in my sewing machine. I put it over there. And I'm going to lay that right here. And then we'll glue this on top. So we kind of get that cute mixed media look. All right. Oh, you made some library cards. You made one with your circ as a circuit. Circuit? Is it circuit or cricket? Maybe it's cricket. Some people say circuit. C-I-R circuit. All right. I'm going to let that dry for a moment. And we're going to go to the sewing machine. And I will stitch around this outside edge. So while that one's drying. So this guy's going to go here. I've got this one. I'll do the same concept over here. So I get another piece of book page. And distress it. And I want to cut this to be just slightly larger. Okay. So sewing lamb alert. All right. I'll glue this in the middle. Oh, wait. I'll glue this up here. All right. Get my little fibers out again. So I'm using all of the junk. <laughs> then we'll glue this on top. The secrets that you keep when you're talking in your sleep. Henry um, snores and occasionally he'll go, oh no! <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with you? But Hercules, especially yesterday, he was so loud. He was laying behind me when I was at my computer in the other room. And he's like, woof, 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 really loud. And oh, oh. <laughs> it was hilarious. Henry was walking through the house. He's like, is that the dog? That's really loud. Go, yep, that was the dog. <sighs> I like it. Okay, we'll go over to the sewing lab. All right, I'm going to switch. Hopefully, we won't lock up. I contacted the company that I use for my streaming software because I said, I believe you're the reason my computer keeps having issues. So, they told me to make a change, but I keep noticing a message popping up. So, I'm going to contact them again and say, hey, I need your help because it didn't used to do. Oh, I must be out of thread. Out of bobbin thread. Well, I got a nice perforated piece of paper now. <laughs> All right, let's swap it out. I already had one filled, and I was going to switch it right before the stream started, but I forgot. Thankfully, it's easy. All right, so now we're going to stitch that for real this time. I like how the stitching, when you put it around, just kind of gives it a nice little border. I like it like that. Okay, go this way. What do you think? I'll do it again. <laughs> wants is another baby. She's come to get you. Or gone to get you? I'm listening to some music on some earbuds and sometimes when you listen to the lyrics you're thinking what are they thinking? <laughs> there we go. There's another one. Oh, get up higher so you can see it. Alright. Oh, you would scream that scary movie scream? That would be annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you don't do that either. I think your husband would be a little upset. All right. So these are going to go on here. I think maybe like that. I think we need one more thingy behind here. So, oh, I've got the vine out. Okay. 
let's stamp that across here. I'm going to do it over here. There. Okay, how are we doing on time? It's 5.30. Okay, so I think I want to put this one here and then put the butterfly kind of over the top of it. Or do we want to go that way? Do I want to do it this way? No, I think I want to do it this way. All right, so I'm kind of positioning it where I want it, and then we'll glue this piece down first. Okay, so right about there. I like it. Beverly does such a good job bussy cutting. I should have sent home a bunch of stuff with her. <laughs> See here, Beverly, do these. Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming you were seeing far snow for the first time. Okay, I think this one I will put up here in the corner and then we'll put these guys maybe like that. Okay, let's put this one down first up here. And then we'll put this down in the middle. Ah! Don't do that to me now. Okay. And then glue it down. Okay. And then this guy, let's put him maybe down here. Oh, Jennifer got in a coupon code. You want above enough junk bucks. You're there again. You're going to place another order before I ship your stuff? <laughs> I think I gave you the coupon code to help you with the shipping. So you that's still good. I like it. Do you like it? Oh, you know what? Just for y'all, I've got some bling. All right. Do we want to do a line of bling? Let's do a line of bling. We're going to line it up. Let's go from this way. I got a line of bling, and we'll just put it right here. I know I never use bling, so we'll put a little bling on it. Do it on the other side. Okay. I've had this page of bling for a while now. I'm surprised the stickiness hasn't worn off. Okay, let's put it right there. How's that? Bling alert! I use some bling. Okay, I like it. I like it like that. Which way do we want it? Hmm. All right, so we need to do something with the coffee dyed paper, or should we just leave it out? You know, because all my other pages are so bright. How much time we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten pages, and this is how fluffy it is already. And I do not have a coffee dye color, so I'm going to skip the coffee dye paper. Instead, let's see what else I've got here. I have this gel print. I used part of it to make a journal card, and it's blank on the back side, so let's decorate this and we'll use it. Alright, so we don't need the sewing lamb. Do you moo out loud in your sleep too? <laughs> You fell asleep, Margie. Are you trying to say I'm that boring? <laughs> Wake up! I was wondering what happened to you. She usually has cute little comments to make. 
All right, so this is a painted page on that side. We'll lay that in here. What do we have? Oh, let's use the positive vibe stencil. So this came in the subscription box or creative kit. The other side is pink. We've used purple and teal. I'm going to use a little bit of purple again. And maybe a little bit of the dancing dragonflies. So this was uh, wild and free purple. And then we'll use the dancing dragonflies. It's kind of a turquoisey color. And maybe just a hint of pink. So I'm going to make sure I get it shook up. Kind of airbrushed. My stencil's kind of lifted up off my page just a little bit, so it'll be kind of blurry looking. And then we'll line this up like so. Laura, thank you for your donation. Tanya, Ruby, Morgan, Rhonda, Janice, Sherry, the Mrs. Edmondson, Nadine, Connie, Tori. Margie, Robin, and Gigi's art attic. All right, I like it. That'll be good as a page. Let's add some distress inks. I need to dry it, it's a little wet. Got to be in it to win it. If you want a chance to win this journal today, just make a donation of any dollar amount. I think we made our goal. I'm not positive, but if not, we're really close. Long night. Junkie Joe kept you busy. <laughs> well, scandalous. That is just scandalous. <laughs> Add some distress ink to the edges. I did make a fabric patchwork cover for the journal. So I think what we're going to do is I'll finish this page and we will put the journal together. I'll talk about the pages I made off camera. All right, so let's see here. I've got this little guy. Oh, let's do the postcard. I've got the tiny postcard. Let me grab a piece of paper. Oh, I wonder how it would look. Let's stamp it on there. It's just paper, so if I don't like it, it's no big deal. I think I want to go this way, though. So you can't really see it very well. I like the idea of the colored paper behind it, though. So I've got this piece. So let's stamp it. Well, that's cuter. So let's cut that out. Cut it out, man. Cut it out. And maybe we'll do, I was going to do the library card too. I don't know. Maybe we can leave it in white. So if we put these together and then we had this little label that had a word on it. I think I like that. Okay. So let's stamp it one more time. And then I need to get the library card because I only had one stamped out. I'm going to need a scrap -o of paper row. Let's see what we got here. There's one that I've been cutting off of. And we'll stamp it. Okay. And what else? I need to do something in the background. I've got another one of these little labels. So we need the words to go on the labels. And we need to stamp around the outside. Oh, thank you, Ada, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So we got that. I'm contemplating what I want to put behind. 
Thank you so much for your donation. It's official. We have enough. We just have one journal today. I did not have time to make two. Sorry. <laughs> You've got to be in it to win it. All right, let's cut this one out real fast. Put this back up here in my little bin. That's not very straight, Linda. I can see that. Need to get me a little die cut so I don't have to cut them. <laughs> Okay, we got those. Oh, need to do the postcard. It's handy having little scraps of paper. Oh, and this is another stamp in my shop. Kind people are my kind of people. I didn't have enough rubber to cut it, so I ended up uh, printing on top of one of my gel prints. I thought it looked kind of cool. Maybe we'll glue it on the other side. Okay. I like that. We need a little something that we're going to put behind when we put our little collage of papers. So maybe like a text or do we want to do flowers? Okay. Oh, I think this one's called, uh, I don't know if it's Morning Glory or Vine. I think if you look up Vine, you might see it. Kind of do like that. And then if we put this in the middle of it. It just kind of gives us a little backdrop for them. Okay, we need a word. Julie wanted me to use bloom earlier, so maybe we'll do that. Just for you, Julie, if I can find it. Oh, here they are. Uh. All right, we got bloom. We'll stamp that inside the little label. How's that? And then, how about uh, Joy? Joy, it's a smaller stamp. I tried to make the sets that when I made a set of four, whatever the biggest word, longest word, set how big the font was for that set of stamps. <laughs> All right, that'll go that way. This will go like that. All right, let's glue these down. Maybe a little piece of fabric. All right. Pizza, we're having beans. 15 bean soup, I guess you could call it. 15 beans. It's a, a staple around our house because Henry and I, we get... We're in ruts where we don't know what to fix. So if we're busy and he doesn't get home till late, this works out great. We cook a batch in a crock pot. And that batch will last us several days. Y'all into the raffle if you haven't already. So that's what we're having. Do I want to do the teal on teal? I think we need a different color. How about this darker purple? Maybe we'll make it just slightly larger. Okay, I like that. And then we'll do the joy on the other side. You ordered pizza from Mario's? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, enjoy your pizza. I don't think we've ordered from them yet. Oh, dear. 
Nacho Bell Grande. Ooh. On Thursday, it's Taco Party Taco Thursday, I think it is, at Taco Bueno. And so Henry occasionally, because it's so cheap, will order tacos on Thursday. You know, have you ever watched The Big Bang Theory and noticed that every Tuesday they go here, every Wednesday they go there? That's kind of what Henry and I do. We have, we know what we're going to have each night, the day of the week. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's Chicago style. Now Chicago is deeper, right? Like a thicker crust. We, when we were younger, we liked the thick crust because it was so filling. But now that we're older and I can't eat all those carbs, we get the thin crust. Okay, I like that. And I think I'm just going to glue that in the middle, maybe, with, do I want to stamp that on either side? Okay, let's do that. So this is the three leaves. So I'm going to line it up where I think I want it and stamp it. kind of like that. So we're going to do it the other way. So again, just kind of eyeball them where I want it. And we'll put that over the top of it. it kind of looks like little wings, like a butterfly behind it, doesn't it? All right, we're going to finish this page. I don't have anything on this side yet, so let's see. I made this um, bookmark earlier. Maybe what we can do is I've got some scraps. Maybe I'll find something here. Here's a scrap of paper I made. I don't want to put it in there and have it fall out. But I think if I did something like this, that would be kind of cute on there. It's a thin paper. Okay, I think we could do something like that and maybe even stitch it together. So here's what I'm going to do. I want it to have a little bit of a frame. So we're going to cut off this piece, even with my page. Okay, so I'll trim it to be straighter. And then this piece I want to put on top but I want it just slightly smaller. This was a, another scrap that was in my stash. In my purple bin. Using a little at a time. And let's glue. That's a distress and glue. Homemade tacos. Yeah, we. Yeah, I don't like Taco Bell. We like Taco Bueno. But we make homemade taco meat, and instead of putting it on tortillas, shells, we eat it as a salad. So we'll, the base will actually be salad, and we like doing that every once in a while. Hamburger meat's gotten so expensive, though. Okay, so now I'm going to glue these together. And I think, let's go, let's sew one more time. I'm going to do it off camera because my computer is not happy. I can hear it revving up in the background. I'm just cutting a little bit more of that off. All right, I'm just going to stitch around this real fast. So what are your plans for the week? 
I will be working on orders tomorrow that the stamps were made, but now I've got to put them together. I didn't know if y'all knew, each time you order a stamp, they're made when you ordered. So we've got to, in Beverly's case, press the rubber and then apply the cushion and then trim the cushion and stamp and print the header card and package it all up. And what I have to do is get the artwork ready to put into the laser and then I send that to Henry. I think that will be cute. And he cuts it on the laser and then he brings it home to me and I have to clean the rubber because the laser has dust that will be all over the rubber stamp. So I soak them in a soapy solution and then I dry them off and then they have to be mounted to the cushion and then the cushion has to be trimmed and I print the packaging header and I put them in the package. Okay, I think I like that. It may fall out. So just in case we're going to make a, I don't hardly make altered paper clips and I like this fabric. So I'm going to use it just because it contrasts. I'm just going to take a little piece of this and cut it like so. And I'll go with the sewing machine and I'll just kind of wad it and stitch right here across the top. Homemade tacos. That's We like the homemade tacos. Everything's gotten so expensive. Okay. All right. Why is my phone going off? Okay. That'll keep it from falling through. How's that? And it sticks out just a little bit. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. So let me clean back a little bit of my desk so that I can show you all the pages that I have made. My fabric stitches, 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 stitches. I gotta kind of clean off uh, Jennifer's rubber stamp when we're done. <laughs> okay, got little scraps of paper here and there. All righty. So here's a page we made. Don't need this. This needs to go there. This needs to go over here. So there's a page we made. And then, of course, we made this page. And we made this page that's very interactive that I believe I'm going to use. Y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. That's going to be my center of my journal. The fabric is folding up. I don't know if I like that. But... Okay. So that's going to be my center journal. So I'm going to put that there, page. I had some scrapbook paper that I stenciled one of the mid-century modern stars. And then I used that groovy flower set. Groovy stamps, groovy flowers. And put that in the background with some fabric behind and the word bloom. And over here is another one of Beverly's butterflies over some fabric. And I made a little pocket. And this was a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper. And I cut it at 6 inches. And then I folded up a 2 inch spot. I stitched here and here. And then I put it together and stitched all the way around. But I decided before I did that, I wanted it to look like it had stitches on this side. So with this open, I stitched on this side. I stitched on that side. I stitched the top. Then I closed it and went around the outside edge. Does that make sense? All right, so we got those. And then this is the interactive with the magnet page. So that fits there. I like that pop of purple. So let's put it like this. So I'm just kind of laying them out the way I think I want. Uh, before the live stream, I kind of made it a Franken page where I took some of my larger mixed media papers and 
put them onto a book page and then I made a little text spot. This was a printed gel print and I just stamped over the top of it and then added some little elements. This was just a scrap that was in my desk so I thought I would use it. And then there is the image again kind people are my kind of people that are in the creative kit and then this is where I use scrapbook paper and it opens out so it's got a little bit of heft when you pick it up but this part is really rather thin but it's perfect for journaling and then on the inside this is a pocket that comes in the kit that was printed on both sides and I just thought it was pretty to put it as a tuck spot and I just made a little journal card to go with one from the kit did some stamping in here as well and then this one is a oh I didn't put a card in here uh, has a card up here but there's also a spot down there let's make a card real fast Is that too big? That will fit, I think. Let me see if this will fit. It does fit. All right, let's add some just corner rounding to this piece. So this is just a three by three inch square. I had this piece left over, and then I had this. Um, cardstock scrap and I stitched this piece together then glued it together and I made a little pocket out of a scrap of gel print you're in love with all the pages yay elbow elbow cough cough <laughs> oh dear all right I like that and let's see well, you know we did the peacock earlier so let's do it again so I'm gonna move that up grab my scrap of paper here I think last time we did it in teal so this time let's do it in seedless preserves seedless preserves and turn this so I can see it Kind of put it somewhat in the center and then stamp junkie joe is jealous you're petting one you won <laughs> well you haven't been talking very much either Ooh, i like that well, let's clean jennifer's stamp thank you jennifer allowing me to use your stamp <laughs> all right oh i gotta clean it some more i didn't get all of it Trying to be meticulous about it. Okay. So this will go in here. I like that, and it's peeking out just a little bit. I'm gonna close that. Okay. And then this was a page that I made. I had this pearlescent paper. You kind of see the shine. And then I stamped on it. Today is full of possibilities. And then on the inside, Safina of um, Dust Fairies. Oh, I wondered if I kept her link. Okay, here's her link. Uh, Dust Fairies. She had these sorry silk packages, and she sent me one. And so I've been trying to incorporate a little piece here and there. So that's what I did was I took a piece of the sorry silk, and I attached it to a book page. So that it would have a little bit of body. I folded it over the book page on the sides and then I stitched it down and made that a pocket. And then this is a mixed media card I made during a mixed media Thursday gel printing session. And then here is the comb flowers again. And then on this side. So I think wouldn't this look good together when you come to those pages because of the layering? yes and then this was a scrapbook paper that i folded here's another i'm trying to use scrapbook paper up so this was a 12 by 12 that i scored at four and four and it was apparently a little bit bigger than 12 by 12 or i was off but that's okay 
and then I fold up the side. So here's a couple of journal cards and tags. And this is a journal card I made a week or so ago, tag I made. So that's going to be a page. And then these are the pages from the journal. So I think this should be my very first page. And then maybe this will be the second page. I like that. Okay. And I want this page over here. And I think I want this page here. I may want to put one more page before it. Ah, here we do. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Like this. Okay. I like that. And then this page is a little more mixed media. And then we've got this page, this page, these two pages, this page, this page, and this is going to go in the middle. And oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. I have a cardstock cover and but wait, we're not done yet. I have a fabric cover that I made. Okay. So I did the wrap style, but I had added these little flags to the pages and I didn't like the wrap folding this up. So I just made it a little bit shorter and made it so that it comes to the edge. So we have all this fluffiness. All right. So let me get my tools out to bind the journal together. I'm going to need all the help I can get here to hold it together. And we're going to bind the journal. And then if you want a chance to win it, get in the raffle right now because we're about to do it. One, two, three. I'll do a flip through. I'll pick the winner of the little journal charms page flags that I made. Right, I'm just getting my needle ready so I can put some of this stuff away. I need my awl. Okay, so I'm going to carefully line up all my pages the way I want them. And I'll slide these out a little bit. Cooperate with me the way that I want you to be. Okay. I'm trying to make sure they're all nested down in the center of my journal covers. You love the fabric? Thank you, Robin. I like adding the fabric when I have time. And you don't have to add it on every page. I have it on the cover and three pages that were printed. Okay, this one here, this one here, all right, I think I got all the pages, I'm going to use my fancy clips, oh, it's not quite big enough. Man, this is one fluffy journal. It is fluffy! Fluffy, fluffy. Someone was asking me, how many pages do you put in your journal? I said, generally 10, if they are fluffy pages. If there's nothing on the pages, then you can put quite a few more in here. Oh, thank you, Heather, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do is V this up and poke some holes in it all the way through, all the way through, and all the way through. All right, someone had to leave. 
I know that. So we got to get ready for whoever that was because I can't remember because I've had a thought that left since then. <laughs> thank you, Lori, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm just doing a pamphlet stitch here. Hoping I can see the hole. Good enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the fabric cover, because I decided not to have it be a wrap cover, I sewed the fabric to 12 by 12 cardstock that I cut down the height of it. So this journal cover is actually 12 inches wide by I think nine and a half inches tall. All right, because I wanted it to have a nice frame of the cardstock around the fabric. All right, so I'm going to get rid of my needle. And I want to make sure that this is tight, and it is. Okay, two people who have not donated, do you want to help out today? And you won't be the actual winner, but you'll, uh, your name, you would enter for someone. Do we want a teapot? I don't think a teapot goes. How about a poodle? Oh, <laughs> uh, what else do I got here? Miracle. How about that? I was going to put a poodle. Let's do a dragonfly and I'm going to do a charm, believe it or not. Oh, I got some beads. I got some beads. So I'm going to feed on. These are seed beads. You get them in the subscription boxes. Creative kits. All right. I got to get the end to cooperate. I can't see. So it makes it harder when you can't see. That one may be too small. Okay, I got three beads. I can get a hold of it. There we go. And now let's take this and we'll tie it off. So I'm kind of making like a surgeon knot where you trip, go back through itself a couple of times. If you used to make a friendship bracelets, we used to do all these knots where we would slide it down the thread. Okay, take that one off. Now let's do three more little beads. Three little beads. Okay, one more. And let's put this on here and we'll do a final flip through. Well, hello, Journal Art Papery Ad Adelaide. How are you? Good morning to you. It's good evening to me. Oh, dinner time almost. All right, we're about to that point. I'm going to do a flip through of the journal. And we're going to give away right now the two little journal flag charms that I made. Be on the lookout tomorrow for my tutorial that shows you how I made these little page flags that I'm getting ready to show you. Just trying to get all my stuff out of the way. I've got a drawer over here to the side that I've put my charms in. And so it's so much more convenient because it's closer. All right, that's gonna go here. And then this ties shut. So I'm going to tie it shut because this is one fluffy, chunky journal. Oh my goodness. All right, let's pick the winners of the little flags. Oh, where'd the other one go? There it is. Okay, get a drink. Um, that is an in-chat 
game that we have because I have a bot that helps me. And when you come and play and are part of the live stream, you collect junk bucks. And I have a raffle that you win junk bucks. And of course, if you play here and you get to 2000, you can earn junk bucks. Oh, thank you, Robin, for sharing that. All right, let's get everybody in the raffle. I like how this has come together. It's so fun. Fluffy, just fluffy. These need to be tied shorter, I think. Let's look here. Because that's really long. I don't know. Do you want me to cut them? Y'all let me know. Say cut it if you want me to cut the ties shorter. If we even leave them as long as they are, I will leave them. Okay. Are we ready? I think everybody's in. Pick a winner. The winner of these little journal flag charms is... Ada! Congratulations, Ada! You won the little journal charms. Thank you so very much. I'm going to write your name down while I'm thinking about it. So, Ada. There we go. Goes with that. Okay, so let's reset this. Here's what's going to happen I'm going to do a raffle now that is for the person who has donated today. Only those people are eligible to enter. And I'm going to list off those names. And those people are Lori, Heather, Sherry Gray, Ada, Laura, Tanya, Ruby Lily, Morgan, Rhonda, Janice, Sherry, the Mrs. Edmondson, Jennifer, Nadine, Connie, Tori, Robin, Margie, and Gigi's Attic. So thank you all for donating. So if you donated, now's the time. All right, cut it. Nadine says, cut it. <sighs> Leave it long. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it long, and here's why. When you get it, you can cut it, and you may want to use that piece for something of your own. Oh, my gosh, look how fluffy this thing is. It hardly wants to shut. It is so full of stuff. Okay, we need two people. If you would say, hey, I will help and enter for two ladies that had to leave. Tori Blatt had to leave. And Morgan Plans had to leave. Okay. So here is the front page. Okay, Giovanna will enter for someone. So I made these little page flags. This is the cover that comes in the journal. You've got a pocket here. I didn't put anything in it. And then the first page I decided would be the fun interactive flip out page. And I think it just blends together, don't you? Uh, journal card here that slides back and this was some avocado dyed paper in the background and then this is a pocket this way and I decided not to push it all the way down in so you could see it this was a scrapbook paper that I stenciled and stamped upon another one of the printed pages okay Ada thank you Jennifer so Giovanna and Ada said they would help Ada, yeah, wait a minute. Ada, you d you donated. <laughs> Ada, you donated. So you get to enter for yourself, sweet lady. <laughs> Unless you want to give up your give up your spot. I couldn't talk for a second. Uh, so fabric again. Here's another little page flag. Oh, let me get in the shot. So this has got a little dragonfly. I was trying to use up some of my charms too. And then fabric on this side. You can see it. Uh, here we got a little tuck spot. This was some scrapbook paper that I made into a little fold out. This was a rubber stamp and it's colored in different colorways on a piece of book page. And then this is a rubber stamp. This was called Butterfly Collection and that's from the Journal Quartet 2. Henry can enter. Okay, so Henry and Giovanna. 
you two enter and Robin, you assign Henry and Giovanna to the persons. <laughs> So if you donated, now's the time to do uh, to enter the raffle, okay? Okay, so Julie Parker is entering for Tori. Lo All right. No, Robin says no. God. <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. All right. Smack's head on desk. <laughs> Robin, you just tell me when it's good. Okay, it's fine. You got it. Whoever you wanted to do it, they do it. Okay. Creative Nana for Sheila. Creative Nana, a.k.a. Sheila for Tori. Okay. Thank you. I see it. Don't do anything. Henry hasn't done anything. Well, let me tell you who has entered. All right. So Tanya, Ruby, Mar uh, Jennifer, Heather, Sherry Gray, Margie, Ada, Laura, Nadine, Robin, Janice, Giovanna, Julie, Parker, Creative Nana, and Lori Murgis. So we have three people that have put their names in the raffle for us. <laughs> so... What we'll do is we'll just toss a coin and see who wins, right? Okay. So we're all good. Whatever. So don't do anything, Henry. You don't need to. I like the way this has come together. I like that this fell together at the same time because of the color schemes go. And then when you open this up... And look, another charm right there. You see it? We got it. Take the last one. Okay, I can. I can do that. Okay, I got it, Robin. All right, so Sherry's d d not saying. <laughs> you done it. It's done. It's done. Oh, my goodness. This was mixed media paper. Now, this is a pocket. So, you can put stuff in there or you can glue it shut if that makes you happy. And here's the center of our journal. That's why you've made an executive dis dis <laughs> decision. Pretty petting journal. All right. So, here's a pocket here. This flips up. I was thought I was going to get done early, but we got to be complicated today, apparently. This is a mixed media page made of clearing off my brayer. And then this flips over. I've got all this space. And so this flips up. And there's a pocket in here. There's a pocket behind this piece. And then we can flip this over. And we have writing space. Uh, we're running out of space here. Writing space here and here. So we'll come back. Then this is a pocket. Has the you can see the gel print in the background. This is going to close back up. Over here, this piece has a pocket that comes out, goes back in here, and then you flip this over, and you have that writing space. And then you can flip this up, and you have writing space here. Last call if you want in on this raffle. And then here is the um, cone flower. And then this is an element from the kit. And again, this was some mixed media pages that I put together in the background. From the Positive Vibes kit. And over here we have another little flag on our flag on the play. Flag on the journal. Go over. <laughs> I was having fun just kind of playing with adding these to my journals. Why are you doing this? Come on now. Cooperate. Oh, well, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just fussing with it now. Pocket over here. I like the difference in heights. And there's the comb flower again. This is my new vine with curls. 
And I think that's called Morning Glories in the background and the small library, card, tiny library card and the tiny postcard. And then we made a belly band for a bookmark and I put a paper clip so to help hold it in place. Another little page flag using little sequins and bling. Stamping and stenciling in the background. Stamping and stenciling. Another little pocket. We're almost to the end. I gotta sign it. And more journaling cards. This is the curly swirly on top of a printed page. Cards that are from the Positive Vibes kit. We use the mid modern century stencils today. The soar and dragonfly. I don't think there's any dragonflies in here. I should have put a dragonfly in, huh? I still can. Let's see if I can find a spot. How about right here? I got a little dragonfly. Maybe right here. Let's see if I can get it. My page is so fluffy. Okay, I got it. Yay! Okay, I'm going to leave it out in case I want to find another pot, spot for it. <laughs> okay. And then this page has a pocket. And then this I didn't add anything to. Here's a pocket here. And we've got this page. This is the cardstock cover. And then here is the outer cover. And we're going to sign it. Laundry packing. Oh! It's been a little confusing. Yeah, it was just a little bit, but I think we got it. That's all Robin's fault. <laughs> four, four, 11, 20, 22. All right, so I signed it. And I will tie it back shut just so you can see it all tied up. I hope you liked the live stream today. If you would, after the live is over, come back and leave a comment in the comment section down below. I am going to leave it a little long because you may want to cut it off when you get it. And you can have the fabric yourself. I like it. I like it. I hope you like it. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's pick a winner of this journal. I'll be back Monday. I will be doing, um, uh, well, of course, I will be doing an eclectic journal. So I'm just going to pull different things that I have all over my room in here that I need to use up and make a journal. And we'll just go from there. I have a tutorial that comes out tomorrow. I have another tutorial I'm working on. I've got to finish editing. So maybe it'll come out this week. If you haven't gotten my Thursday throwback Thursday tutorial newsletter you can sign up through my website at lindaisrael.com alrighty ooh Santa Ana Maria Island Sarasota Ana Maria Island cool and by the way this was all printed fabric so I printed gel prints that I scanned in my computer to fabric and this is one of the positive vibes pages and I just cut it apart to put on here. Very pettable journal. All right. The winner of the journal today is Ada Bella Flores. Congratulations, Ada. You won the journal today. All right. Congratulations, Ada. You won two prizes today. Good job. So I can write your thank you note. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tanya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had fun putting it together. I hope you enjoyed today and getting to see. Ada, hey, do you want me to trim the fabric or leave it? <laughs> and you can see all the pits, bits and pieces sticking out. I like the little page flags hanging off. The journal, I'm just kind of pulling them out to the front. Lots of little add-ons. Yay! <laughs> Junkie Joe is dead to Margie. Aww. 
<laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. Hey, if there is a technique that you would like to see me do, let me know. I've got a couple of ideas formulating for making some more flippy flappy foldy envelope pocket pages type things. Yay! You screamed and scared your nephew. <laughs> That's awesome, Ada. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, those of you that donated, I think most of you already have the membership on my website, but if you are new and haven't done it, hadn't set it up yet, make sure you create a user account at my website at lindaisrael.com and then send me a message. Hey, I donated. I'm so-and-so on YouTube and I'll make sure to get you added. You're very welcome. Well, I'm going to get off here. Y'all have an amazing week. May you be blessed beyond measure. Thank you for being so supportive of me. Check the description box for links to products that I use. And do check out my website and Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. The links that you use from me, it doesn't cost you any extra. It just helps me and support my habit of being here for you. <laughs> Uh, what else? Check out the challenge in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. And also remember at the top of the video when I shared that if you go to my Facebook page, Linda Israel, look for the post about adding your four words to be put into labels. All right. Thank you so very much. Y'all have an amazing week. Lots of love to each and every one of you. Bye, everybody.